All right, welcome everyone to Bishop Conley High School. I want to welcome everyone on our Facebook live stream on the Bristol Community College Athletics page. It is the Bristol Community College Bayhawks women based in the Bunker Hill Community College Bulldogs ladies. So we're going to set it down to courtside for tonight's starting lineup. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's NJCAA Region 21 contest with the visiting Bunker Hill Community College Bulldogs and your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. safety and fair play. We ask that all fans, coaches, and players show respect for the opposing team, game officials, and each other before, during, and after tonight's game. And now tonight's starters for the visiting Bulldogs. Number one, Star Braddock. Number three, Lila Mead. Number ten, Keishana Joseph. Number 12, Noelia Hernandez. And number 20, Jessica Allen. And now for your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. And number one, Sarah Sawyer. And now number 21, Hayden Sylvia. Facebook audience on our live stream on our Bristol Community College Athletics page. Thank you everybody for joining us for college night here at Bishop Conley High School. Home of your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. I'm your play by play announcer David Cardoza. Joining us to be on the camera. So again, we're getting ready for the tip off here. 41 defense right away. Number 5, Carlos Tamales. Here on the tip off with Kishana Joseph. The Bulldog Evil on the tap right off the bat. And no score. Right off the bat, Jessica Allen for two. On the way here. Three. Three. Three.
controlled by number 12, Noel Hernandez. Hernandez crosses over into the paint, puts it up off the glass. Can't finish it. Rebounded by number 10. She's trying to dose this. Ball goes out of bounds. And it's going to be Bayhawk basketball. on the floor. Tatia Luna being attended to. Apparently she has an open wound. Should be a quick fix though. Put a band-aid on it. Pointer in the corner is no good. Rebound by the game. Yeah. 
Jumper is good. Willa Hernandez for two off the pass from Allen. And it's 10 to 2. Inbound pass stolen away. Those are the mistakes that they need to stay away from. And now we'll take them for dribble. Like that, it's a 12 to 2 lead. 
moving. unselfish. Bristol can hold on for the final shot, and they should for the first quarter. Vietnam veterans took the initiative to secure rights to an 80% size replica of the Healing Wall for Veterans Bicentennial Park. The names of over 58,000 fallen heroes 
will be engraved on the 360 foot long replica wall. 100% of the money raised benefits the building of our Vietnam Veterans Memorial Wall in Fall River. Help build our wall, which is scheduled to open in 2020. The meaning, the spirit, and the value of the wall is everyone's. Be part of this exceptional once in a lifetime project. To make a donation, please visit VietnamMemorialWall.org or connect with us at Facebook.com. Scorer on the season. Sophomore. She's been the leading scorer in mostly every game for the Bayhawks this year. First free throw is good. 23 to 6. Second free throw rattles out. Rebounded by Joseph. Allen. And they're going to call a push. She leaned that shoulder. She leaned that shoulder into Lunar on the drive there, pushing off. So they'll call her for her first personal. Luna driving, kicking it back out to Seguin. The runner is no good. Rebounded by Neck. Turn around, the turn around jumper is no good. Joseph with the follow up is no good. And Talasanalo will come away with a rebound.
13 on the shot clock. Luna for a deep three and sinks it. Luna. 23 to nine. Big shot by Katia Luna. Finding the range. No good there. Bayhawks need to go on a run. They're in danger of getting a, a 10 second violation there, but Luna gets it over. Finds her second gear and then gets fouled. And they're going to call it on number three, Lila Nevis. <laughs> Substituted in, Noella Hernandez. She'll come in for Lila Nevis. Who has two, she has two personal fouls. Luna for three again. Too hard. And they're going to call a foul on... Looks like it's going to be on Stephanie Oliveira. Allen on the drive. This is it to Joseph. Nice play there. Joseph goes up for her own rebound. Loses it out of bounds. They're going to say it's off Talos and Alla. Off the Bayhawks. The inbound of Joseph in the corner. Seventeen on the shot clock. Allen gets it to the paint, and I think she's going to get fouled there. She's fouled there by Talasanala. Well, that's a good job there by Sanala there too. No easy baskets. Don't let anybody come into the lane and just. You know, score easy baskets, and that's something that that's something that Bristol has allowed a lot during the season is letting people get into the teeth of the teeth of the defense and score easy baskets, getting into the paint easy, shut down that middle. Twenty-three to nine. Both free throws missed. Bayhawks basketball. Luna for three. Can't get it to go. Falls her own shot. He gets it ripped away by Allen. And Allen stepped on the stepped on the sideline. No, they're gonna call a foul. They're gonna call a foul away from the basketball on Chastier. Number eleven. They're gonna call a push. And that's five team fouls on the Bulldogs. Next foul will be shooting one and one. It's a game. Oliveira loses it. Luna thought about it. Nice head fake there. Goes underneath. Gets caught underneath the basket. Nice pass there by Luna to Sanala, but she couldn't connect. Allen kicks it to the corner and losing out of bounds is Noella Hernandez as that ball goes out into the lobby. Five and a half minutes to play. You're watching Bayhawks basketball on our Facebook live stream. Stay tuned for later on. The men's Bayhawks team will face the Bunker Hill Community College men's team. And what is going to be a showdown, the winner will have the inside track towards the number one seed in the New England region with one game remaining after that. So we have a lot going on here tonight. 23 to nine, Bayhawks lose the basketball. Hernandez dumps it in. Bayhawks collapse on Joseph, but she dumps it down to Allen and she'll score another two, 25 to nine. Good job there by Joseph who got triple teamed up at the free throw line, but it was somehow, some way found Allen, who, who was all alone underneath the basket. Driving to the left, jump stop, Luna, and they're going to call her for steps. Yeah. 
Katia, she can't do it all by herself. Someone else has to come to the party. Pass it around the perimeter. I get it down inside. Joseph, that seems to be a matchup problem. Dumps it off to a cutting Allen again for another two. What's happened is when Joseph gets the ball down the blocker in the paint, Bayhawks players are cap or they're collapsing on her, and then it leaves a it leaves a, a, an open Allen. Katia Luna driving. And I think they're going to say she stepped out of bounds. Bristol turns the ball over again. Hernandez kicks it over to, to Bradham. Hernandez for three. Coming off. Bulldogs get the offensive rebound. Allen jumper misses it. All right, Coach Serge Moniz is going to get a timeout here with 3.47 left to play. All right. We'll take a timeout here on FR Media, your Bayhawks Broadcasting Network. Honor, courage, sacrifice, pride, our city. Fall River has traditionally been in the forefront of honoring our nation's soldiers, sailors, Marines, and airmen. Vietnam veterans took the initiative to secure rights to an 80% size replica of the Healing Wall for Veterans Bicentennial Park. The names of over 58,000 fallen heroes will be engraved on the 360 foot long replica wall. 100% of the money raised benefits the building of our Vietnam Veterans Memorial Wall in Fall River. Help build our wall, which is scheduled to open in 2020. The meaning, the spirit, and the value of the wall is everyone's. Be part of this exceptional once in a lifetime project. To make a donation, please visit VietnamMemorialWall.org or connect with us at Facebook.com. All right, welcome back, everybody. 27 to 9. Your Bayhawks trail the Bunker Hill Community College Bulldogs with three minutes, to 40 se three minutes and 47 seconds left to play here in the first half. Bristol Community College without a win this season. Sylvia inbounds to Talo Sanala. Bristol hasn't made a substitution all game long. Doesn't appear they will. Oliveira. Luna thought about it. Quick first step. Works her way into the paint. Open Sylvia. Ooh, almost. Oliveira in the paint. Puts it up off the glass and in. Good job there. 27 to 11. Joseph kicks it back out. Swinging it to Hernandez for three. No good. Rebounded by Luna. Luna secures it. Under three minutes to play in the first half. Luna. Luna dribbles. Three pointer. Had that had that tip by Bradham. Joseph out to Hernandez. Gonna get back on defense. Sonala gets back into the picture. But Hernandez will lay it up before she could get there. Nice hustle getting back there by Tala Sonala. The hustler. But just got there too late. Nobody else was getting back on defense of the Bayhawks. Bristol trails 29-11. Luna works her way into the paint. Jump stop. Misses it. Stephanie Oliveira put it up. Sonala. And she's going to get fouled. So Talo Sonala will go to the line. Number 10, Kishana Joseph commits her second foul. And it appears as though she'll be substituted for. So 
Nalo bends the knees, puts it up, and it's good. Good form. Nice bend it in the knees. Yep, Joseph will come out. And also Noella Hernandez will come out as well. Number three, Lila Neves will come back into the game. Second free throw. And they're going to call a, viol a lane violation on Talasanala. Went into the lane too quick. She missed the free throw anyway, but 29 to 12. Two minutes to play here in the first half. Allen catches it at the free throw line. No good. Rebounded by Oliveira. Getting swarmed by Bulldogs players. They get into the hands of Luna. Luna, Tatia Luna, not a point guard by trade, but she's been the pseudo point guard for this team, and they're going to call travel. They're just keying in on Katia Luna. I mean, you look at the other Bayhawks players, when it comes to creating their own shot, it's not their, it's not part of their game, not part of their forte. Katia Luna is the creator, the shooter, the every, the everything offensively for this Bayhawks team. So it's tough for her to, to get shots. Bulldogs will call a timeout here. Okay. All right, Bulldogs will take a timeout here. We'll take a timeout here on FR Media. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Brianna, and this is my mom, Virginia. My mom always dreamed about going to college, but with a full-time job and a family, I don't think she ever thought she could. Thanks to Bristol Community College, she was able to go to school on weekends, online, and close to home. Now she has a degree with very little student debt, and I can keep dancing. Now is the time to get the education you deserve. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. All right, welcome back to the river. 29 to 12 in favor of the Bunker Hill Community College Bulldogs. First game of a doubleheader here tonight on a cold Tuesday. Cut it to the basket is Allen, but she can't connect. On the floor, the two number fives wrestling for it. And it'll be Bulldogs basketball still. Can inbound. Driving, kicking it over. Noella Hernandez for three. Boy, she likes that spot right on the wing, whether it's the right or the left side. She squares up and nails it for three, and the Bulldogs have a 20 point lead. They'll dump it in. Sanala swarmed by Bulldogs players. Luna thought about it. She'll pull the trigger from anywhere. Luna tucks it under to Oliveira. And they're going to call steps. And they call, call her for a travel. Nice pass there by Aluna to find Oliveira in the paint. Oliveira turned the other way. Get her face up towards the basket. Hernandez again from her spot. Short into the hands of Sylvia. And we got some shot clock, shot clock problems. Referees just discussing the time. They're going to add five more seconds, probably to the game clock. Bristol trails 32 to 12. So I guess we'll just wait as we get that situated. Bristol has one final game this Saturday, sophomore night. They'll face Clint Stigamon Community College Saturday afternoon, 1 p.m. start. Part of another doubleheader, the Bristol Community College men will be in action for their final regular season contest before they head to the regionals next weekend. Well, they hope next weekend. If they win, if they win tonight, 
I mean, they lock at least a number two, at least a number two seed in the New England Regionals next week, next weekend at Massasoit Community College. So that is a big game. If Bristol wins out, talking about the men's team, if they win tonight against Bunker Hill and win Saturday, they will be the number one seed in the New England region. Now we have five seconds up there on the clock. 41 seconds to play in the half. All right, all right. Let's get this party started. Here we go. So we're all set now. 40 seconds to play in the first half. Seguin. Try to get it to Luna in the corner. Way too tall. And it'll be Bulldogs basketball. It's been all Bulldogs since midway through the first quarter. As the Bunker Hill men check it in. Hernandez gets it inside to Neck. Allen kicks it back out. Bradham for three. Nice ball movement. No good. Rebounded by Neck inside. Oliveira comes away with it. Nice dish inside to Star Bradham for two. Bristol needs to push if they're going to get a shot off. The final shot. Luna puts it up, forced it up there, somehow hit the rim. <laughs> that shot's going to be wayward. And that's it at the end of the first half. The Bulldogs, the Bunker Hill Community College Bulldogs with a 34 to 12 lead here on college night. We'll take a break here and we'll stay tuned here for a second half action as, it, as Bayhawks basketball returns on FR Media. back getting ready for a second half action as the Bristol Community College Lady Bayhawks trail Community College Bulldogs 34 to 12 will get ready for the second half and really the story the story of the game has been about two players it's really been two players doing a lot of dominating on the offensive end for the Bulldogs and those two players have uh, basically all the points. Number eight, number 12, number Noela Hernandez has 18, and number 20, Jessica Allen, she has 10. There's three other players that have two for the Bulldogs. So really, Noela Hernandez and Jessica Allen have been beating the Bayhawks here tonight. So it's not like it's been some big balance, you know, scoring spree. And we're underway here in the second half from Conley. Jim starting to get full, three point shot is short. And pushing it back the other way. Bullet pass. And the lay-in. The short jumper. Just outside the paint is good. By number three, Lila Neves. And actually, she has four. Bristol trying to pick up the pace on the offensive end. Got to send players in motion. Got to, girls got to come out and help out with the basketball. One player can't be doing it all by herself. Got to make things happen. Got to start attacking the basket. Nobody coming to the basketball. Oliveira kicks it back out to Luna. Luna drives to her left, going baseline. Gets caught underneath the basket, puts it up, gets her shot blocked, tipped. Ends up with the basketball anyways. And Luna, and we'll see what the ref says. And we have a player face down on the court. However, not sure what the call is. I think it's going to remain Bayhawks basketball. It looks like it's Jessica Allen. And she's being attended to by the trainer. As they look at her left ankle there. And they'll lift her up. And 
And she doesn't look like she's able to put too much pressure on it. That would be a major blow for the Bulldogs. And she can't come back and compete. She's the second leading scorer for the Bulldogs here tonight. And she'll try to Try to maybe shake that one off. And she's able to walk on her own power now, so that's a good sign for Jessica Allen. Neves thought about it, gets it into the corner. Hernandez to three, sinks it. 39 to 12. And Noella Hernandez has been lighting up for three-point range. That's her 4-3. And she has 21 on the night. Ooh, Sonala. Sonala has that one-hand push shot. Couldn't make it. And they're going to say it's off Sonala. Actually, they're going to call an offensive foul on her. That's going to be her third. Hernandez dumps it in to Neck. Over to Joseph, short jumper. Way too strong. Fighting for it. And they're going to say it's Bayhawks basketball. <laughs> Bristol 0-13. Luna crosses over, gets it to the lane, puts it up, and in. Good job by Luna. Working her way into the paint, jump stop, lays it in. That ball going to be Bristol basketball. Bunker Hill has won the... Katia Luna at the line. Sinks the first free throw. Back in December, Bulldogs blew Bristol out 89 to 25. That game on the road. And actually before that, Bristol successful against Bunker Hill. Winning last year's contest, last February, 68 to 49. Bradham, cross court pass to Hernandez. And I believe she's gonna get fouled. And I think that foul's gonna be on Sanala. If it is, that's gonna be her fourth, and it is. Second team foul for the Bayhawks. Going to the line is Noella Hernandez. Bulldogs with a comfortable lead, 39-15. Seven minutes and 23 seconds to play in the third quarter. Again, at the conclusion of this, there'll be a break, and then at 8 o'clock, the Bristol men are in action. The number four Bristol Community College men's basketball team, 24 and three overall, 22 and two in Region 21 in a battle against Bunker Hill tonight, the number six team in the country. They, they come in at 23 and three overall, 22 and two as well in the region. So this one will be a tiebreaker. Luna going to her left, loses it. 
but it's going to stay Bayhawks basketball. Luna to Tanala, jumper. Can't get it to fall. You know, one thing I'd like to see, one thing I'd like to see from the Bayhawks here today is their level of compete and their energy has definitely been up there today. Their energy and their compete level. See a lot more wrestling for the ball, a lot more diving for the ball, girls getting back on defense. You see a lot more fight. Even though they trail 41 to 15 on the scoreboard, it's good to see that fight and the effort out there for Bristol. Inbound pass, Oliveira will lose it. She gets it stolen away from Bradham. Up to neck, puts it up off the glass, way too strong. And wrestling for it again is Tanala. Boy. One thing about Sonala, she's always hustling, always diving for loose balls. And that, Noella Hernandez will score the paint for two more. Luna brings it up for the Bayhawks. Stan starting to get more full. Luna drives hard to her left. And a great, great defensive play. Great job there by Star Bradham to force a jump. But the possession arrow is going to be in favor of the Bayhawks. And we have a substitution. Lila Naves will come out of the game. And number 11, Chastier. And we have a foul away from the ball. That foul is going to be on Gonzalez. Sanala, too hard. Oliveira is there to get the rebound and put it back up for two. Nice offensive board there, being in position there, Oliveira. Able to come back up for two. She's got four. Stephanie Oliveira has four points. Driving, cutting through the, cutting through the paint, and she's going to get fouled. And Star Bradham will go to the line for two. Coming up on six minutes to play here in the third. NJCAA Division Three matchup, Region 21 matchup between these two teams. Women play four quarters, four 10 minute quarters. First free throw, way too hard. Second free throw, nothing but net. 44 to 17. Bradham connects on her second free throw. Here's Seguin. Luna thought about it, and they're going to call her for. What is the call there? Hernandez dumps it in to Neck, puts it up. No good. Loose ball. Jeez Louise. So Nala comes away with it after all that. All right, we have a full time on the court. We're going to take a break here on FR Media. We'll be right back here on your Bayhawks Broadcasting Network. Honor, courage, sacrifice, pride, our city. Fall River has traditionally been in the forefront of honoring our nation's soldiers, sailors, Marines, and airmen. Vietnam veterans took the initiative to secure rights to an 80% size replica of the healing wall for Veterans Bicentennial Park. The names of over 58,000 fallen heroes will be engraved on the 360 foot long replica wall. 100% of the money raised benefits the building of our Vietnam Veterans Memorial Wall in Fall River. Help build our wall, which is scheduled to open in 2020. The meaning, the spirit, and the value of the wall is everyone's. Be part of this exceptional once in a lifetime project. To make a donation, please visit 
vietnammemorialwall.org or connect with us at facebook.com. All right. Welcome back to the gymnasium here at Bishop Conley High School. On college night, Bayhawks trail 44 to 17, five minutes to 28 left to play in the third. Bristol gonna try to try to make a run here. Seguin loses it, going back the other way. Bradham has a two on one to Noella Hernandez. Man, we've had so many loose balls on the floor. And they're going to say it's Bayhawks basketball. That ball has been like a bar of soap just twirling around there on the floor. Both teams have three team fouls. Luna driving to her left. Puts it about the glass. Rolls out. Another loose ball on the floor. Oliveira comes up with it. Shooting it out of, the, out of nowhere is Seguin. Oliveira with another offensive rebound. And they're going to call steps on her. They're going to call Oliveira for a travel. But again, how many times have we seen that ball on the floor with a Bulldogs player and, and Bristol player all over it? Like it's a fumble on the football field. Hernandez squares up for three. That one juggles out. Rebounded by Sonala. Sonala pushes it up, and it's a backcourt violation. And she knows it. Once you cross that timeline, you can't throw it back the other way. Come on, Tala. Well, dumping into net, kicks it back out. Hernandez, that's her shot for three. Coming off, rebounded by Joseph, snatches it out of the air. Referee, <laughs> referee calls a timeout. Wanted to make sure that Joseph's glasses were okay. Okay, as a three-pointer falls, Star Bradham for three. Never heard of a referee timeout because another a player's glasses, he wanted to make sure they were okay. Luna, they leave her wide open and she sinks it. Don't leave her wide open. Luna for three, 47 to 20. Hernandez, can't get it to fall. Good job, good defense there by the Bulldogs closing up the lane. They've done, like I said, they've done a lot better job of doing that. Seguin pushes it, no good. Boy, look at the. <laughs> Despite the scoreboard, the Bayhawks are playing angry. They're trying to rip the ball away from, score that one. Number five, Neck. Forty-nine to twenty. They are trying to rip the ball away from the Bulldogs. They are diving on the floor. They're hustling. Luna, nice little stutter step, but they're going to call her. They're going to call a foul on Red. They're going to call a foul on the Bulldogs, on Neck, and Jessica Allen. After leaving the game with a left, with a lower left leg injury, she's actually back in the game. With a small limp, but she looks like she's good to go. She's back in the game. Good for her. Oliveira off the inbound pass from Luna. Had an opportunity, couldn't connect. Allen gets it inside of Joseph. Back out, Hernandez tees it up for three. Coming off. I'm not sure why uh, Chastier, who was 
closer to the ball than Joseph. Joseph went after it as the ball sailed out of bounds. And now it's Bayhawks basketball. Here's Luna. Fifteen on the shot clock. Bulldogs extending that zone. Seguin, boy, she put <laughs> she put everything she had into that one. Still came up short. They'll dump it inside. Nice defense hit by Luna to get in front of Joseph. Allen, jumper is good. And she is limping on that leg, but she's limping on that leg and favoring that leg, but she was able to hit that jumper. We'll see what the call is on the court. I think we got more. Do we got more clock problems? Problems. Yeah, I was gonna say there's gonna be more time left on that game clock. Referee saying there should be a minute 51 seconds to play. Right now the game clock reads 15 seconds now. Shot clock should be at 17 and the game clock should be at a minute and 51 seconds. Fifty-one to twenty. We'll see if we can get this figured out sometime today. As the Bayhawks wait to inbound the basketball underneath their own basket, 17 left on the shot clock. And we got the AD, Derek Riveros. Doubles up as a scorekeeper. The time guy and the AD figures it out. Good job, Derek. 51 to 20. Oliveira off the inbound pass. Ooh, she had an opportunity. I think Stephanie needs to take her time. Just take a little bit more time to set her feet and relax and, and sink that shot. She's shooting it too quick. She was wide open. Nonetheless, they're going to call a foul away from the ball. The foul is going to be on number 12, Nuela Hernandez, her third, Oliveira. Hits her second free throw. Oliveira, the second, she's the leading scorer, second leading scorer in the game for the Bayhawks behind Katia Luna. Because she has five now. 51-21. And now Luna's at the line. And it's another foul on Nuilla Hernandez. Luna calmly sinks the first one. And the second free throw. Juggles out. Rebounded by Allen. Again, has Bay Bayhawks defenders all over her. And they're actually going to call a foul. They're going to call a foul on Seguin, her fourth. Actually, they're only her second, they're going to say. Minute 40 to play in the third. They'll dump it in. Allen finds Joseph too hard. Joseph couldn't handle that bullet pass from Allen. Allen. 
And Allen will come out of the game. 51-22. Bulldogs in a 2-3 zone. Ten in the shot clock. Luna gets it to Seguin. Oliveira puts it up. Diving in is Seguin. Put, put it up. She has a shot at it. Oh. Nice hustle there by Seguin, though. A lot more hustle, a lot more effort by Bristol. We'll dump it into Joseph. Joseph being guarded closely by Luna. I think definitely where you see the improvement is on the defensive end. Defensively, they're getting to where they need to be. They're not giving up as, as many easy baskets, especially fast, -based, fast break baskets, you know, and allowing the other team to walk all over them. It's been much more of a dogfight. Luna way deep, short, rebounded by Joseph. See, easy baskets like that. Shot clock is off. I think just getting back on defense is key for this team. Hey, first matchup between these two teams, they gave up 89 points. Losing that ball off for a foot, Bulldogs won't be able to get a final shot off, and that is it after three. All right. After three quarters, 51 to 22. Stay tuned for the fourth quarter. We'll be right back after this. Hi, I'm Brianna, and this is my mom, Virginia. My mom always dreamed about going to college, but with a full-time job and a family, I don't think she ever thought she could. Thanks to Bristol Community College, she was able to go to school on weekends, online, and close to home. Now she has a degree with very little student debt, and I can keep dancing. Now is the time to get the education you deserve. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. Honor, courage, sacrifice, pride, our city. Fall River has traditionally been in the forefront of honoring our nation's soldiers, sailors, Marines, and airmen. Vietnam veterans took the initiative to secure rights to an 80% size replica of the Healing Wall for Veterans Bicentennial Park. The names of over 58,000 fallen heroes will be engraved on the 360 foot long replica wall. 100% of the money raised benefits the building of our Vietnam Veterans Memorial Wall in Fall River. Help build our wall, which is scheduled to open in 2020. The meaning, the spirit, and the value of the wall is everyone's. Be part of this exceptional once in a lifetime project. To make a donation, please visit VietnamMemorialWall.org or connect with us at Facebook.com. All right, welcome back. Fourth quarter action, getting ready to start here. Bayhawks have a lot of work to do. They trail by 29 behind the Bulldogs, the Bunker Hill Community College Bulldogs. And Bunker Hill, they come in. 7 and 11 in region 21. Jumper in the lane, no good. Pushing it is Bradham. Nice pass there. Nice pass there to number two, Gomes. And how about those two for our backcourt? Little speedy tandem. Loose ball. Again. Bradham to Gomes in the open floor for two. And those two working together again. Gomes coming off the bench to score a handful. Just getting started here in the fourth quarter. Bristol trailing 55 to 22. Luna. Pulls. Ooh, that ball hit the top of the backboard. Won't fall. Again, Gomes. Gomes to the open court. Nice pass. 
to, Lee, to Neves. And Gomes is like a little offensive microwave over here. He things up. Four points and an assist out the. Luna's three pointer won't fall. Gomes again in the open court. Gomes trailed by Luna, puts that up and lays it in. Six quick points by the little guard. Number two. And she's accounted for all the points here in the quarter. Six points, and then she, she had the assist as well. Knocked away. And then, and then Lunar, I think, poked, poked Bradham in the eye. Tell you what, the Bulldog guards, they've, uh, they've done a good job of of attacking Bristol right as soon as they get the ball over the top, right over the timeline. Three pointers way off, secured by Oliveira. I mean, they've done a good job of getting in the passing lanes at times. Right there, they do a good job anticipating. Doing a good job in that zone for sure. It's really messed Bristol up. <laughs> Have to say, Katu Luna's had her, she's had her opportunities. She's done a good job with that ball fake. You know, they respect the three-point shot. They know that she can, she'll shoot from anywhere. She's like Steph Curry. She'll pull up from, you know, half court and try to shoot it, and she can connect it from, long, from a long distance. So the defense has done a good job of respecting that, but she's done a good job of, of up faking and driving to the basket, but she just hasn't been able to make shots. Sanala, no good. I mean, they defended her well. But she has been able to get to the basket. She has been able to create some open looks for herself. She just hasn't been, been able to hit her open looks. Stolen away by Gomes again. Gomes going towards the basket, puts it up. And it's in. Gomes, eight points off the bench for the Bulldogs. I think she's been the most exciting thing that's happened this whole game. Seguin. That's going to be way off. Sixty-one to twenty-two. Gomes, number two. She's single. -handed. She's really blown this game open. If it wasn't blown open already, Hernandez dumps it in. Joseph kicks it back out. Nevs puts it up off the glass. Loose basketball, and Luna will come up away with it. Luna driving to her left, turns around. Another loose ball, this time ripped away. Neves out to Hernandez. Ooh, she got caught underneath the basket there. That pass was a little bit too strong by Lila Neves. Luna tees it up for three, and no good. Joseph, Hernandez. Has an easy two points. I think right now Bristol just showing the wear and tear of what it is when you only have five players. I mean, they've done a good job all night of getting back on defense and showing, showing the effort and showing the energy. But eventually that all comes, comes, back, comes back to you. Neves. Going all the way to the basket, score it. Yeah, eventually that just wears on you too much. Only been able to play with five players. Katia Luna for three. And it's gonna be an air ball.
Five minutes to play in the contest. Well, dump it in, Joseph. And they're gonna call, they're gonna call Joseph for a travel. Walking in the paint. Katia Luna will walk it up for the Bayhawks. Seven on the shot clock, gotta do something with it. Luna from just inside the three point line, and she sinks it. Nice shot there by Katia. Driving to the basket. Nevs can't get it. And Joseph turns around and gets the rebound and throws it out of bounds. All right, Bristol going to take a timeout here. We're going to take a timeout here on FR Media. We'll be right back here on your Bayhawks Broadcasting Network. Hi, I'm Brianna, and this is my mom, Virginia. My mom always dreamed about going to college, but with a full-time job and a family, I don't think she ever thought she could. Thanks to Bristol Community College, she was able to go to school on weekends, online, and close to home. Now she has a degree with very little student debt, and I can keep dancing. Now is the time to get the education you deserve. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. <laughs> All right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I just want to thank everybody watching on our Bristol Community College Athletics page on Facebook. Don't you go away, though. We have a great contest coming, to, coming up tonight. The number four Bristol Community College Bayhawks team, the number four team in the country. They're facing Bunker Hill Community College, the number six team in the country. Two heavyweights going at it. Eight o'clock start time. Actually, it might be a little bit later than that because this one's gone a little late. Yeah. Second free throw made by Luna. 3.45 to play. Oh, nice block there by Sonala. Luna, Seguin. 15 on the shot clock. Luna being guarded very closely by Gomes. Good defense again by the Bulldogs. Going to have to put it up. Ball knocked away by none other than who? Gomes. Going to the basket. Puts it up and in. And she's got 10 points off the bench all in the fourth quarter. Little give and go. Luna in the paint. Puts it above the glass and in. Nice drive there by Luna. Somehow got, got it over number 22, Gonzalez. Definitely had the height advantage. They kick it back out. Lila Nevis for three, no good. Seguin tracks it down. And this contest is winding down here. As we approach the two minute mark. Defense. 
fall short. Again, Gomes. Gomes, nice pass inside. I think they call three seconds there. 67 to 28, under two minutes to play. Cold on the outside, but we're gonna be getting heated up here on the inside. Five on the shot clock. Sonala puts up a three-pointer, and it's short. Naves pushes it up to Gomes, who puts it up. No good. I think that was her first miss. Another loose ball. Neck with the rebound, no good. Sonala rips it away. Sixty-seven twenty-eight. Seguin. Short. <laughs> and finally the uh, finally the Bunker Hill Bunker Hill coach is gonna take the foot off the gas with thirty seconds to play. And there's a shot. No good. Bristol can uh, Hold for the final shot here. And what's going to be anticlimactic, but I say a good effort. It's a gain. Chopper is good. I think she was surprised that that went in. <laughs> I think she was like, she was more surprised than anybody. And that's going to do it. That is going to do it. 67 to 30. Their Bristol Community College women's team falls to Bunker Hill Community College tonight here on College Night. I want everybody to stay tuned for our, our, second, our second matchup here tonight, a part of a doubleheader. The men's Bristol Community College Bayhawks team in action against Bunker Hill Community College, number four versus number six. The Bristol women's team falls here 67 to 30. Your Bayhawks player of the game will be Katia Luna. Again, I'm David Cardoza, stay tuned for the men's Bayhawks team. In just a little bit, we'll be right back with more Bayhawks basketball.